Now, before I do this, I want to establish myself as an authority on this subject. You see? I know exactly what I'm talking about. This is a 100% professional grade quality opinion. I know exactly what I'm doing. We'll crack open a cold one. And I'm going to teach you guys how to pick which drinks you want to kill yourself with. First things first, let's take a look at 7-Up. Now, 7-Up, it's actually going to be 7 Down because it tastes like fucking garbage. I don't like 7-Up at all. I think Cherry 7-Up, I've never tried it. Normal 7-Up is fucking trash. I've never liked it. It's basically just a mediocre version. Actually, you know what? You know what? I will put it up to a D. It's not trash. I'll, I'll give it a fucking D. And the reason I'm going to give it a D is because it's like there are things that are worse than that is. Okay? And so I don't want to give it the lowest ranking possible. And now we've got A&W Root Beer. I think this is Root Beer, right? Yeah, it pretty much is. So A&W Root Beer, I actually think is really, really good. I would say A&W Root Beer is a solid fucking B tier. I really like it a lot. Now, Cream Soda, A&W's Cream Soda is, in my opinion, the best cream soda that you could possibly have. It's better than a lot of that bottled shit that they have at the grocery store. It's absolutely fucking amazing. So we're knocking this motherfucker all the way up to the goddamn S. My dad and I drink cream soda all the time. It's like a thing that we do together. And so, and he gets A&W cream soda. So I am personally invested in this. And I feel like this is clearly a fucking S tier drink. It is delicious. It's clean. It tastes good. And I never fucking regret drinking it, okay? Until I have to go to the dentist. But before that, it tastes fucking amazing. I really, really, really like cream soda fucking uh, A&W. It is delicious. Now, Barks... Uh, I feel like it's, I mean, these are really just pretty much the same. You know what I mean? Like Barks and A&W, I would say they're about the same. Which one is really better than the other is really just kind of up to you and like what your mood is. I would say it's maybe an A, maybe a B, maybe a C. It depends on my day. So really, I just sometimes drink this, but sometimes I don't. That's really what it comes down to. All potential sponsors are watching. Yeah, okay, well, here's one for Balls. Now, Balls is a drink that is not has no there's no thing there's nothing interesting about balls except for the fact that it's called balls like that's it that's the only reason why anybody says it or talks about it is because they get to say that you're drinking balls there's actually no interesting thing about it other than the fact that it has a name that means the same thing or it says the same name as a ball sack and you know what the funny thing is it actually makes sense because they taste about the same Let's go to the next one. This is an... I don't know what this is. I'm just going to put that there. This is the same thing. Don't know what that is. What is this one here? What the fuck is this? Cactus Cooler? Orange Pineapple Blast? What the fuck? What, how do you know? Here's how I know. Do you want to know how I know what a ball sack tastes like? Who here has done a pinch and roll on their ball sack. Everybody. I was doing one like five seconds ago. The way that I smell things is the same way that I taste them. So if I smell my fingers after I do a pinch and roll on my ball sack, that means that the ball sack is gonna smell or taste like the way that I, I, I taste on my fingers. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm serious. I, I thought about this before, guys. I, I don't just make this shit up, okay? Uh, and W is caffeine free. It doesn't really matter. Cactus cooler. I don't care. I probably haven't tried it yet. Canada dry ginger ale. Now, this is a drink my mother has gotten for me many times. Whenever I'm not feeling good, whenever I'm not feeling special, whenever I'm not feeling cute, my mom gets me Canada dry ginger ale. Now, I don't think that it's his big dick as the fucking cream soda but i do think that it's a solid fucking a this is a solid motherfucking a uh, i really really like the uh the cream soda here not cream soda excuse me the ginger ale here it is absolutely fucking delicious it tastes very very good now coca-cola caffeine free 
Now, my mom also used to get me caffeine-free Coca-Cola because it turned out that I was a wild fucking animal whenever I'd get any caffeine in me, and she actually had to limit the amount of sodas that I would drink per day because if she didn't, I'd just knock down five a day, ten a day, and it was no big fucking deal, like age five. So she decided that I had to drink caffeine-free uh, Coke, and it was mostly actually Pepsi, but, um, you know, I, I think also Coke as well. So we're going to actually put this, it's not really that good. I would, I'm going to put this as a C. I don't really think caffeine-free Coke tastes very good, but I do think caffeine-free Pepsi does. Which one is this? Is this Cherry Coke? No. No, 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 no. You guys are saying S? You know what? Just to prevent a fucking riot, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it at a D. Because I would have put it in the fucking trash if it wasn't for you guys saying how good it is. I don't like it. I like original Coke. I like the real original shit. And that's about it. Now, vanilla Coke, you know where this is gonna go? In the fucking trash. If I want vanilla, I drink cream soda. If I want vanilla Coke, if I want Coke, I drink Coke. That's all there is to it, man. I don't like to mix and match. I don't like to do any kind of weird shit like that. Okay? I like to just go with the original fucking drink. I don't like these iterations where they're like, Oh yeah, it's like Coke, but now it's got like this flavoring in it because we put, uh, we put Moose's dick juices in it and it tastes a little bit different and it has less calories for some reason too. Like, who the fuck is gonna drink that? Give me a fucking break. Let me go ahead and look at this one here. Zero sugar. <laughs> who the fuck? You think anybody's gonna drink zero sugar? The, what's the point? Zero sugar, no calories? I'm not gonna drink that garbage. Fuck that, that's a waste of time. All right, now which one is this? Is this the original? Now this is Coca-Cola Classic. Now... Let me show you guys something. We got one right here. It's an empty box right here. Where do you think this is gonna go? This is gonna be a motherfucking S. This is one of my favorite drinks. I love Coke. Uh, I know this is like some basic shit. Classic Wow, classic Coke. They're both good. All right, this is a solid fucking S. Is it my favorite drink? It's not my favorite drink, but it's pretty fucking good. What is this here? Dad's old fashioned root beer. I don't drink this shit. I've never tried that. I'm gonna put it over there. Now, Diet Coke. I can never imagine something. Like, if I ever think about it, like, you know, whenever you see, like, it's like in the animal kingdom, you watch, like, a documentary of two, of two apes, and, like, one ape decides, like, hey, I'm gonna go fuck that other ape in the ass. You know why? Because I can do that right now. You know what they do? They do it. And the, the expression on the ape that's getting fucked in the ass is the exact same expression that I have whenever I get a Diet Coke instead of a normal Coke whenever I go to a, a place and I order my fucking drink. Diet Cokes are fucking disgusting. They taste like shit, they give you cancer, and they look weird, all right? It's like that aftertaste that just tastes like you just fucking ate battery acid. It is the worst and most disgusting thing. Do you know what Diet Coke really should be? Do you wanna know? Water. Instead of drinking a Diet Coke, just drink fucking water. You either go with Coke or water. That's it. You don't need Diet Coke. Fucking ridiculous. Nobody wants this garbage ass dog shit. It's in the trash. What the fuck is this? Diet Dr. Pepper with cherry and chocolate? Bro, this is like people that use too many fucking After Effects on their Photoshop pictures and end up turning themselves to look into some sort of fucking, like, like an Indian mural of, uh, of Shiva or something like that. And with like all these like fucking radiant things around them and a bunch of weird fucking dumb shit. Like, I, no, 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 no. Limited edition? Good. Because it's fucking nasty. We're putting this one in the goddamn trash. Diet Pepsi. Now, aspartame free. Well, you know what else it's free of? Free of Asmongold as well. Because I'm not going to drink this dog shit. At KFC, they serve Pepsi. 
At Taco Bell, they serve Pepsi. And if I go there and they give me this shit, shit, I take it back. I've actually taken a drink back. I've driven back and I took it back because it was diet. I said, you know what? Fill that bitch up again. I don't want this nasty ass garbage. Diets, diet drinks are the nastiest fucking shit in the entire world. I hate them. I absolutely fucking hate diet drinks. And it's like the worst part about it. Here's what's really bad about it. It's like imagine biting into a hamburger, but instead of it being a burger, it's like a buffalo turd. And you just bite into it and you can just feel it in your mouth. And you know it at that point that you're not going to be able to get that flavor out of your mouth for hours. And you know that just that one sip, because it's not just the fact that you didn't get the hamburger. It's also the fact that you're eating buffalo shit. And that's what I'm saying with Diet Pepsi is because whenever they accidentally give you diet, not only are you getting the wrong thing, but you're not getting the right thing. You look forward to that drink. You're like, Ooh, it's going to be so good. Ooh, I'm going to wash down these tacos, wash down this chicken. Ooh. And then you get your fucking, you get your drink and it's diet. Who the fuck goes on a diet whenever they go to Taco Bell? Who the fuck does that? Putting this in the trash. What's this one here? Cherry Dr. Pepper. Listen. Dr. Pepper has 23 flavors. Not 24. It has 23 flavors. I don't want 24. You guys really like it a lot. I will admit it is not terrible. But this might upset some people. I'm going to put it in the C tier. And you know why? Because I believe in something called opportunity cost. And there is never a point in my life where I ever want to drink a cherry Dr. Pepper instead of a normal Dr. Pepper. So every cherry Dr. Pepper that I drink is a normal Dr. Pepper that I don't drink. And I think like this because there's something wrong with me. And so this is basically it. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? No, I really. Do you have 24 or 23 chromosomes? I, I have I have probably like at least, a, I have dozens of chromosomes, okay? Dozens of them. Obviously, that's how I'm able to make these decisions. Okay, now here's Dr. Pepper. Now, Dr. Pepper, everybody knows what Dr. Pepper is, right? We all know? It's a fucking S. Dr. Pepper is my favorite fucking drink. I love it. It's what I always ask for whenever I go out. It is a solid fucking S, all right? Especially in Texas. In Texas, Dr. Pepper is what you drink instead of water. At Baylor University, they have Dr. Pepper in the water fountains. Dr. Pepper is the greatest drink that's been ever made. Now, I think Pepsi is good too, but Dr. Pepper is my number one favorite. We're putting that in a motherfucking ass. Fanta. You know what I got to say about Fanta? Whenever I was in middle school, whenever I was in middle school, I used to every single day go to the vending machine and buy a Dr. Pepper. And you know what happened? They made some fucking rule or some regulation that they couldn't sell soda anymore at the fucking high school and middle schools. So then after that, I had to drink these fucking Fantas and Powerades because they wouldn't sell us Dr. Peppers anymore because it was making all the kids fat. And so whenever I see Fantas, the only thing I can remember is thinking to myself that there's a fucking big old thing and it's got a Coca-Cola ad on the next to it and there's no Coca-Cola inside the vending machine. It's Fantas, water bottles, and Gatorades. And I drink Gatorades and Powerades sometimes, but you know whenever I drink Fanta? Never. Because it sucks. I'm going to put it as a D. Maybe it's a C. I don't know. It's a D or a C. Uh, I'll, I'll put it as a C. I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, like, I, I drink soda. Here's the thing. I drink soda. You want it to, you guys want it to be a C? Uh, I mean, 
mean, like, there's some good ones. I mean, like, it depends. Like, maybe I'll put it as a C, okay? You know what? I'll, I'll give you guys that. We'll give you guys a C, okay? What is this one here? Fago. Oh, great. You know what? Fago is amazing. Do you know how good Fago is? Is it ICP? The only use that ICP ever had was Fago? Over, ever had with Fago? Was opening it up and pouring it out. Like, that's all it was. Like, this is this is the only thing that I remember. This is the official drink. Like, let me see what, if I can show you guys. Juggalo juice. Crack that fat boy. Let it go loose. Drink it. Spray it. Whatever you use. Do it up like Joey and Big Joe Bruce. Put it up, kid. I'm about to. Moon Miss Blue. Here's what you do. Throw it up in the sky. To suit that dick. ICP was really popular in my high school. Basically, the more Juggalos you have in your school, like, you can tell how poor a school is by how many Juggalos are in the school. All right, this is another one here. All right, Grape Crush Soda. Now, this is gonna sound a little bit weird, but I actually like Grape Soda. I do. I'm gonna put Grape Soda, Grape Drank. We're gonna put this on a C. This is a solid fucking C, maybe even a B. It's hard for me really to decide, but let's just put that as C. Yeah, put it as a C. All right, now what's the next one here? IBC cream soda. Okay, so this cream soda is good. I, I, I think it's good, but I don't think that IBC cream soda is as good as the a and So we're going to hit IBC with an A. This is a solid A. It's decent. It's always good to drink. I'd never turn it down, but it's not something IBC root beer. I've never really had this, but I'm assuming it's probably the same thing. I'll put it down here and say that I've never tried it. Okay. It seems like the right thing. That's B. Okay. Well, I, I put it as B. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. So that's pretty much where that one is. Now, Doritos. Now, this is basically, you know, obviously like, you know, where I'm at, like this, they have these everywhere, right? Like every corner store, they have these. I've never, uh, I've never drank one of these before. These Doritos thing. Uh, are these actually good? Like, I'm going to ask you guys, because like, maybe I should drink it myself. Are these good or not? All right. So I'm going to just put these down and haven't tried it before. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this. Oh shit. Yo, this, this shit is good, bro. Like I fucking bought this at, uh, at Sam's club one time. This is actual fucking delicious, delicious soda. Uh, I really like it a lot. Now, obviously, it doesn't have the re-drinkability that Dr. Pepper and Coca-Cola have, so I'm going to put it as an A. This is an extremely delicious soda, and I really, really like it a lot. Okay, I'm a big fan of that. I know a lot of people haven't had it, but for me, I think that it's really, really good, okay? Try Drums Crease Soda. I, maybe I will. Mellow Jello, what is this here? The original smooth. I've never had this before. I'm just going to put this away. All right, next. Coca-Cola in a bottle. So this is Coca-Cola with real sugar. Here's the thing about real sugar. If real sugar was good enough, why did they move over to using high fructose corn syrup? Now, do I want to just eat dirt? Or do I want to eat something that's been genetically modified scientifically to be the highest quality and the most delicious possible my body has been altered so much and my genetic dna has been modified and manipulated and fucked up so much by these different types of chemicals that i have actually dislike real sugar and i prefer fake sugar that's cheaper well regardless it's better uh, or not, it's not better. I I'm going to put it as an A. It's obviously very good. I would never turn this down. But at the same time, I prefer the uh, the real version of the fake stuff. Okay, that's what I'd like to say. Yeah, I, I prefer all sugars bad for you. Well, whatever. Let me go ahead and look at the extra one. Okay, what is this here? Wait, this is just Coca-Cola in a bottle. It's Pepsi in a bottle. Like, what is this from fucking 1994? Look at that picture there. Drinks of sugar. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this? Diet's the most fake. That's Pepsi, Mexican Pepsi. Uh, I think I've had like one of these before. It was okay. I'll just give it probably like a B. Or sorry, I'll give it an A. Yeah, this is definitely an A. All right, let me read this one here. Minute Maid Lemonade. Now, I used to drink this one a lot at the store. Uh, not the store, at school. Uh, whenever we, uh, we weren't able to have soda or anything like that, I would drink the Minute Maid Lemonade. I really, really like this a lot. 
Now, is it S tier? It's really hard to say that it's S tier, but it's a high A, a low S. So we're gonna give it, I I'm gonna be very, very delicate with myself giving S tier nominations here. So we are going to give this a an A because I think that it's very delicious. It tastes very good. And overall, I like it a lot. Now, this is the pink lemonade. Yes. Now, I like pink lemonade more. I don't know why I like pink lemonade more. I don't even know what pink lemonade is. I don't even know what the difference between pink lemonade and normal lemonade is at all. I just, for some reason, got this idea in my head that I liked pink lemonade. And after that, I've always, list I've always uh, drank pink lemonade. That's all there is to it. Yeah, because it's sweeter. Okay, well, we're going to give this a fucking S. I really, really, really like this. Like, I, I drank this all the fucking time back in, uh, back in high school, and I really liked it a lot. Okay? It's absolutely fucking delicious. Give me, give me a second. Let me take a look at this. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I've never had it. I have never had Baja Blast. Not even once. Have I ever had Baja Blast? I've never... I always thought it was some bullshit fucking weird thing or whatever. It looks like mouthwash. Yeah, it actually does look like mouthwash. That's a good point. Baja Blast. I've never had it before. And you know what? Maybe I will fucking try it. Maybe I will try Baja Blast. You know what I should do? I should stream myself going to Taco Bell trying Baja Blast. Because I want to see what this is like. I want to see if it's actually any good or not. Now, Mountain Dew. This is the original Mountain Dew. Now, I've never tried it. I know, I've never tried it. Mountain Dew is electric piss water. It's what people do. It's what Kyles drink whenever they're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, calling their friends the N-word. Okay? This is what Mountain Dew is for. It is electric piss water. And I'm going to rate Mountain Dew at a D. It is a fucking D. Now, Mr. Pib Extra. Now, what is Mr. Pib? Mr. Pib is scuffed Dr. Pepper. It's the Dr. Pepper that you get at the movie theaters because for whatever reason, they don't sell Dr. Pepper. I have no idea why. I've never known why, but it's basically Dr. Pepper. And because it's basically Dr. Pepper, that means it's also basically a fucking S. Mr. Pib is fucking delicious. It's barbecue water? Well, good. It's fucking delicious. I, I really like Mr. Pib. Now, is it better than Dr. Pepper? No, I'm gonna put Dr. Pepper in the front right there. But at the same time, I'm gonna give it a fucking S. This is delicious. I like it a lot. It's really, really good. Just spicy on it. It's Coke versus Pepsi. Well, I think they're both good. All right, let's look at the next one. Crush. Orange Crush Soda. Orange soda sucks. I hate orange soda. I've never liked orange soda at all. I'll give it a D since a lot of people are saying it's really good. Uh, I will give it a D. Uh, I'm not a big fan, however. Wild Cherry Pepsi. Now, I've never had this before. I'm just going to put this down at the bottom. I have no fucking idea. I don't like having any new flavors or anything like that. I don't like any change. I don't like any of this bullshit. I like having things exactly the way that they're supposed to fucking be, man. Let's go to the next one here. View background image. Crystal Pepsi. Listen. The only thing that I associate with Crystal, with crystal Pepsi is fucking, like, it, it's Y2K. Like, that's the only thing that I associate with Crystal Pepsi. This is some shit that happened in, like, the year 2000, and they just wrote it off, and nobody drinks it anymore. Yeah, why 2 fucking K? Let me just go ahead, and I'm gonna get rid of this LA Beast. Wait, what the hell is this LA Beast? They brought it back? Wait, really? Oh, shit, I had no idea. Okay. I guess so. A few background images. Now, Pepsi Cola. Now we're into the real shit, okay? Now, we've looked a lot at these other things that I'm not really that big of a fan of, you know what I mean? Like this, you know, kind of bullshit, like, ah, oh, you know, all these random ass drinks. But now we're actually getting into the serious drinks. Now, Pepsi Cola made with real sugar. And you know what that means? That means it's not as good as the fake shit, okay? My body, again, has been genetically modified throughout de decades and decades of drinking soda and ingesting high fructose corn syrup and growth hormones and all kinds of other poisons to actually reject the real soda, the real sugar, and welcome the fake sugar. So Pepsi Cola is going to be an A, all right? 
uh, it's going to be a solid A with real sugar. Now let's go ahead and look at this one right here. Now this is just vanilla Pepsi. I hate vanilla Pepsi. Vanilla Pepsi is like Pepsi, but it's not because it's not as good as Pepsi. It sucks. So we're going to give vanilla Pepsi a fucking trash rating. It is awful. Now, right there. Gentlemen. Ah, that's good. That's real good. Let's go on over. We're going to give Pepsi a motherfucking S, okay? And I'm rating these in, like, in terms of which ones I like the most. This is a fucking S. I love Pepsi. All right, what is this one here? I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm just going to move on. RC Cola. RC Cola is what you buy if you can't afford Coca-Cola or Pepsi or Dr. Pepper. This is a struggle soda, okay? Like, there are a few of these that we're seeing here. Wait, oh, no. Oh, never mind. There are a few of these that we see here. These are struggle sodas. This is the shit that you drink. Like, let's say you, you, uh, you know, you just got back from the ICP concert, so you just uh, poured out all your Fago, and you've only got one thing left to drink, and it's between Bud Light and RC Cola. This is not what I'm going to fucking go with, man. RC Cola is nasty as hell. I've never liked it. It tastes like shit, and it's not as good as the other soda. We're going to give this a fucking trash rating. I don't like it. View background image. I don't know what the fuck this is. We're going to just put that one over there. Uh, Sierra Mist. Sierra Mist is scuffed Sprite. It's just scuffed Sprite. Like, I'm going to give Sierra Mist a D. It's not really that amazing. It's just a, it's a D. Okay. Uh, what is this one here? View background image. Uh, I've never had any of these. The cream soda. I can't say uh, one way or another. Now, Sprite is the next hard decision. Sprite. Let me just... I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to take a piss, and I'll be right back, and I'll make a decision. Okay, guys? Give me a second. It's an A. It's an A. I've decided. It's an A. Yep, let's go ahead and give it an A. There we go. All right, yeah, I, I was not really sure about it. I had to go downstairs and really just give it some consideration and decide really what the right decision was. But yeah, we're going to give this a fucking A. I like it a lot. Now, Squirt. I'm going to be honest. The name of this has always disgusted me, and I have never wanted to drink this because of the name. The name sounds weird. And because of that, I have never drank this before in my life. We are going to give Squirt. And I don't care, haven't tried it. Stewart's ice cream. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Storm. Wait, what the fuck is this? Storm Lemon Lime? I think I had this like back in like fucking 2003. I, I don't know. I'll give this like a D. And uh, what is this here? Citrus flavored soda. Dude, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. Surge? I, I've never had this before. Yeah, it's quality, not quantity. Quality, not quantity, gentlemen. Okay, regardless, yeah, we've got this here. And um, Dr. Pepper number one, Pepsi number two. Probably, uh, I'd say cream soda number three. Uh, Coke number four. I'd say Mr. Pibb in front of Dr. Pepper or uh, in front of the, the lemonade. And, and then, yeah, pretty much in this order, exactly. So this is pretty much what I have for my perfect soda list.